You know, there are more than 10 million vehicles on the roads these days. Not surprising there are so many accidents, is it? Funny thing, though, they, they always seem to happen to the other fella. Now, that to you and me. There are drivers, drivers, of course. Some of us are skillful enough to avoid trouble. Good luck and good judgment, old boy. That's what we need. And some of us are careful drivers. We never have accidents, do we? Certainly not. It's a sign of weakness. Then there's the experienced driver. He's too knowledgeable to have accidents. Been driving for 30 years now. Never a scratch. Oh, dear, dear, dear. It always seems to happen to the other fella. think of it, a car, whatever its fancy wrappings, is really a steel box on wheels. But for a lot of people, it might just as well be a plain wooden box. Because nearly 2,000 died in their boxes last year, and more than 80,000 others were injured. Not you, of course, the other fellows. And why? Well, just think about that steel box when it comes to sudden stop. The human body is just as fragile as China. Left loose inside its box, it can be flung about with shattering force. And someone else picks up the bits. It's common sense that a driver and his passengers are immeasurably safer in a collision if they can keep their seats held securely by a well-designed safety belt. One that's easy to slip on and off, that's comfortable to wear allowing a reasonable freedom of movement, but at the same time supporting the whole of the upper part of the body. Scientists in this country and abroad have done a tremendous amount of research to evolve an efficient and safe design of belt. Using a dummy mounted on a moving trolley, they are able to reproduce the effects of a collision on the human body. In this test, the dummy is left unsecured, and the trolley is propelled at 25 miles per hour. The collision is over in a split second. But the high-speed camera lets us see what happens at the moment of impact. The body is thrown forward with violent force. Inside a real car, it would be crushed against the steering wheel or catapulted through the windscreen, and this at a mere 25 miles per hour. This time, the trolley is fitted with a Britax diagonal safety belt, anchored at shoulder height to what would be the door pillar, and at the other end to what would be the transmission tunnel. In no way does it rely on the seat for its strength. In an identical impact, the dummy is held securely in its seat. In slow motion, we can see how the belt arrests the movement of the body, stretching just enough to absorb the full shock of the impact. The body settles back into the seat unharmed. This time, the dummy is wearing the Britax lap and diagonal belt that some drivers favor. Again, it provides complete security. It is most important that a safety belt should stretch not only the right amount, but in the right way. If it has too much give, the body can move too far. If it is too elastic, it can snap back violently. So the materials used in its construction must be chosen very carefully. Take the webbing itself. Terralene is used for all Britax safety belts because it will perform in exactly the right way.
When placed under severe strain, the Terralene belt, made by Britax, stretches just enough to absorb the full shock of a collision, but not enough to allow the body to contact the forward parts of the car. The tremendous strength of Terralene is well known and completely unaffected by cleaning, sunlight or normal wear. Likewise, the Britax buckle, made of high tensile steel, combines strength with simplicity. Even under full load, it releases instantly. Inside the car, it takes only seconds to clip up and unclip. Every Britax belt bears the kite mark of the British Standards Institution. It's a guarantee that it conforms to the high safety standards laid down by the institution. But however good the belt, it can't function without an efficient anchorage. Many new cars have anchorage points built in. In other cars, it's a simple job to have them fitted. Your garage can do it in a few minutes. The anchorage, belt and buckle all determine the strength of the complete assembly. So each part must be manufactured with the same degree of precision. At the Britax factory, every stage in making and assembling is rigidly controlled to ensure the safety of the final product. Included with every Britax belt is an accident report form. Some of the case histories these reveal are more convincing than any sales talk. Like this Ford, hit head-on by a lorry. The driver and his wife wearing Britax Tetelene belts escaped with slight bruises and cuts. Or this Humber, crushed by a three-ton lorry. The driver suffered only superficial bruising. This Mini Miner struck a lamppost at 40 miles an hour. Both the driver and a sleeping passenger escaped unhurt. Rally driver Pat Ozan crashed at high speed when a fire extinguisher accidentally went off in her face. But for her Britax belt, she would almost certainly have been fatally injured. And in one of the most hazardous crashes of all time, a safety harness saved the life of Donald Campbell. Having survived the fastest automobile accident in history, in Bluebird at nearly 400 miles per hour, I can speak on this subject with some feeling. My case and the ones you've just seen are the fortunate ones, where drivers took sensible steps to protect their lives and the lives of their passengers. Unhappily, they are the exceptions. The stark fact remains that every day on our roads, five people are killed inside their motor cars, whilst many, many more are seriously injured. You know, it's an appalling reflection that most of these people are in the prime of their lives when death or disablement overtakes them. Three out of five lives would be saved and hundreds of needless injuries prevented through the use of a simple diagonal safety belt. There are still many skeptics, but I think most might have changed their minds if, like me, they had witnessed this vivid demonstration at Herringay. Newsreel and television cameras are focused on Gilles Delamar as he prepares for the first of three high-speed crashes with a diagonal safety belt as his only protection. In the first, he rams his car at 40 miles an hour into the side of a stationary vehicle. The driver steps out unshaken and unhurt. Please, 
The second crash is a spectacular triple turnip. Both the belt and the cars in these crashes are standard moves and not strengthened in any way. In slow motion, we can see the full effects of the turnover. An unrestrained body would be flung helplessly about inside the car. But this driver, wearing a bright axe tetaline belt, is held firmly in his seat. Now for the third crash, at 50 miles an hour, into the side of a stationary car. This is perhaps the most dramatic demonstration of all. Without a belt, the driver would almost certainly be flung clean through the windscreen. As it is, he is completely unhurt after a shattering impact. convincing proof of the value of bright axe tetaline belts. <laughs> oh well, I suppose it's up to us then. We can either be clipped in or slipped in. Oh, I don't know though. I mean, that's the other fella, isn't it? It could never happen to us. Could it? <laughs> 